So, yeah, this came out. <laughs> well, I should say the trailer got leaked, and I guess people were like, fuck it, we'll just play it now. I'll, um, so several sites have kind of played it out, uh, you know, now there was the teaser, and then someone, I guess a few sites leaked the trailer out. So I'm going to talk about the new trailer, of course, for TMNT 2 Out of the Shadows. Now, of course, this is the sequel to the Michael Bay film, TMNT of course, the Ninja Turtles reboot. What else am I talking about? So yeah, this is the sequel to it, and I was like, damn. Feels like the only last year the movie came out. And I know, yes, it's coming out. this movie's coming out 2016, but I was literally like, man, I still feel like we're watching the, team, the Michael Bay movie. Like, I still feel like it's so fr it's still early in my mind from the, fr the previous film. It's terrible, don't get me wrong, but I still feel like it's so fresh in my mind, and now we have a trailer for the sequel. I was like, damn. <laughs> these sometimes these sequels come out quick, don't they? Anyway, so let's talk about the trailer. Now, the trailer was actually good. I won't lie. The trailer was actually pretty good. However, you know how many times I've been fooled by Transform, you know, by Michael Bay esque Transformer uh, trailers a lot, and I will give them this. One of the few things, you know, Michael Bay's uh, Transformer trailers do right is that they make the trailers actually really good. Like, they won't make you want to see the film. All the trailers, even though all the movies are terrible, are actually well put together. At least the initial first trailers are. And, it, and this one was no different. It, even the, TM, the first, like, full-length TMNT trailer was pretty w well put together. And this movie, for all we know, might be a crock of shit, <laughs> like its predecessor, but on the other hand... It looks kind of good. Like, it looks like a TMNT movie I would want to see. Again, it may not be that, but on the other hand, this trailer makes you think it might be. And I'm, in, I'm hoping it would be. Because, from what I remember from the other TMNT, you know, from the first TMNT film, all the Ninja Turtle stuff was good. And it looks like we're going to get more Ninja Turtle stuff in this tra from this film. At least that's what the trailer's telling us. Remember how many, you know, how much shots we saw of the Transformers in the other trailers, and yeah, I don't think I need to say that, because uh, that goes without saying, but yeah, from this trailer, and again, I could be wrong, but this trailer looks like we're going to get more turtle-centric stuff, and that's kind of what we want. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's what we want. Anyway, let's go into the trailer itself. The trailer opens up, like, with all of New York just in awe of this portal opening up and these ships coming down. And I was like, huh, straight out the gate, we're, we're revealing Dimension X. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and of course, Donnie, you know, excuse me, Leo and the other turtles are gearing up, and it looks like, from just the trailers called Out of the Shadows, it looks like people are going to learn who the, you know, the turtles are. And there's even this police captain, who I'm assuming... I, she looks familiar. Like, I know that actress somewhere. But this police officer says, Who are you people? And he's like, but, And Leo said, I think it's Leo or Raph that say, You know, we're just a couple of guys from New... We're just a couple of New Yorkers who really love this city. I was like, That's how you do the Turtles right there. They don't... You know, they may be heroes, but they view themselves as New Yorkers, and they love New York. That's how you do the Turtles right there. They don't see themselves as, you know, these big turtle monsters... These big mutant turtles who do ninjutsu. They view themselves as New Yorkers. I was like, huh, that's really cool. <laughs> uh, so I'll give him that, I'll give him that. Uh, we even get to see the new incarnation of Shredder, and I'm actually kind of liking the armor. I like it. I mean, I've, I've seen the actor before in several other things. I knew he was in Jurassic World for all of, like, a minute after the before the Irex killed him. Uh, but I have seen him, in, uh, seen him in other stuff, and the armor looks really good, and he looks like Oroko Saki. When he just pops the blades, I was like, yeah, you're, I know this is a Nickelodeon movie, so I can tell they're obviously taking notes from the new film, uh, the new TMNT series, because that's how Shredder does the blades, he just pops them. Uh, but the armor does look very, uh, it almost looks 2003-esque, doesn't it? It does kind of look like 2003, and a mix of the 2003 and the 2012 armor. At least to me, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, what else did I want to say about this trailer? Uh, oh yeah, Bebop and Rocksteady. How could I forget Bebop and Rocksteady? <laughs> played by Seamus, and I'm forgetting the other actor's name, but you would guys would know this actor best for playing Uncle Ruckus in Boondocks. So I can't help, whenever this guy talks, I'm like, yep, there's Ruckus. 
<laughs> like, there's a scene, like, in my head, I can actually see that, like, Bebop uh, looking at April O'Neil and be like, come away from those green boys, pretty white woman. I can't do Uncle Ruckus, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's that. That was a terrible impression. I apologize, but yeah, I just can't get the image of Uncle Ruckus as now a giant pig monster. The same way I can't, you know, I can't get over the fact that we now have, you know, the professional wrestler Sheamus as a giant rhino man. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm not even the biggest wrestling fan. If you, if anyone, I, I have several friends, uh, Shades at Night, you know, Mount Vernon Kid, and several other friends of mine here on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there are wrestling fans. I used to like wrestling. I had it kind of dropped off, but I get excited whenever I see, like, uh, a wrestler like Sheamus or um, or Sting or something of, that, of someone of that nature kind of being one of these big budget movies. It's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's clear that you see these guys having, like, everyone's having fun in this movie. Um... And I, I know some people have kind of complained about the Bebop and Rocksteady designs, because you, you, you do see them mutated in the film, along with, ba you know, um, Tyler Perry, who's going to play back, who is playing Baxter Stockman, and you only see him for a little bit, but he looks so nerdy and, and geeky, and I'm like, yeah, they're taking notes from the, from the 80s cartoon with that one, and even the designs of Bebop and Rocksteady are very 80s. I'm surprised that, you know, because again, this was a Nickelodeon film, I thought they would try to... It, bring a lot more influence from their 2012 cartoon, and not to say the 2012 cartoon's bad, I'm just saying that's the thing they, that's the thing they created, that's, a, that's something Nickelodeon created, so I thought they would have more influence in there, and they do have Bebop and Rocksteady in there, but they're totally different from the 80s cartoon, but no, this is very much like the 80s cartoon of Bebop and Rocksteady. Bebop is a little bit chunkier, but I'm okay with that, and uh, but Rocksteady looks like absolutely like 80s Rocksteady, and I know they look totally cartoonish. Like, they look terrible, but at the same time, I'm like, that is amazing. <laughs> because they look exactly li like, again, uh, foregoing Bebop's, you know, and I know he was chunky before, but this is like really big Bebop. But other than that, they look like the 80s cartoon Bebop and Rocksteady for the most part, and I was like, yeah, I'm, o I'm okay with this. I am very much okay with this kind of CGI. Um, also, again, I can't, you know, I can't believe I almost forgot about this, but yes, we do see Stephen Amell as, uh, Casey Jones. <laughs> it's a great moment where he's like, when Megan Fox asks, um, when Megan Fox asks, so who are you? And he's like, I'm the Arrow. And I'm like, <laughs> at least in my head, that's what's going on. But he's like, I'm Casey Jones. And I'm like, and here's the thing, as much as I don't care much, uh, you know, I have my problems with Arrow, as much as I have my problems with Arrow, Stephen Amell's a really good actor. He really is. I feel like he doesn't get a, like, he, he really does not, uh, does some great job. He, 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 even though, you know, season four, not as terrible as season three, but still, I gotta slug through some shit. <laughs> and I can't be, and I'm not the only one on that one. But no, Stephen Amell for the mo is a great actor, and I actually got a little excited to see you know see him with the hockey puck and mask, and you know say my name's Casey Jones. And I was like, and I kind of I was really geeking out a bit. All in all, again, this you know the trailer looks really good, but the movie could be really bad. That's the whole point of trailers, it, is to hype you up, and I can't deny that you know if it's one thing Michael Bay is good at, it's hyping people up through trailers. Because, again, that man has some really good editors on his team. I know he's producing it, but let's face it, he has a lot of influence in these movies. Who knows? What I'm really hoping for, I'm not hoping for anything spectacular, like, oh my god, this is the like greatest movie ever, greatest Ninja Turtles movie ever. I'm not expecting that. What I kind of want is just a fun Ninja Turtles movie. Not a lot of focus on the humans, a lot more focus on the turtles, as it should be. And... Uh, what was I going to say? And yeah, just have the turtles be turtles. I just want to fuck like look GI Joe Retaliation. That's what I want. Like GI Joe Retaliation again, not a great film, but still it was a fun enough film where <laughs> it was still a fun enough film where um, it felt like a GI Joe film. It felt like you know it felt a lot like a, what GI Joe should be in the film rather than the first film. And I'm hoping that's what you know this TMNT film will be. 
something fun and something that makes you go, yeah, that's 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 a turtles. This is a turtles movie. This is one hundred percent a turtles film. But yeah, um, again, this could be totally bad. I'm, I have right now. I have kind of. I, I'm I, even. I'm surprised by this, but I have my like expectations at like a medium, which was a lot better than the first film's uh, few trailers. But anyway, guys, uh, you guys tell me, what did you all think of the Ninja Turtles trailer? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Uh, just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.